Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for July 22nd, 2020. Well, yesterday we had kind of um, a little bit of back and forth. Um, we had obviously uh, lots of bullishness and ended up closing the markets positive, but we left behind some patterns that give us a little concern. Well, what does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle in, buckle up, and get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So interestingly, yesterday we saw that nice rally going into the market, but by the end of the day, we saw a little pressure coming in, a little bit of profit taking coming in, leaving behind some question marks as we saw tech really struggling just a little bit with its rally. So um during the night we have the state department ordering the chinese government to close the consulate in houston after charging two chinese nationals for uh, vaccine hacking attacks and um suggesting that um well, there are some growing tensions there, obviously, between the U.S. and China. Of course, China says this is outrageous and they vow retaliation. Um, what that really means uh, for the market, I don't know. But futures um, took a dip lower last night um, as a result. This morning, we're getting our typical morning pump up in those futures markets as we try to deal with these rising tensions between the U.S. and China. Now, um, Asian markets last night kind of closed a mixed but mostly lower um, as it was reacting to uh, these uh, events. And European markets are bearish across the board this morning. But U.S. futures are trying, attempting to shake this off um, as if it's not occurring. And once again, we have NASDAQ futures in the positive while um, we're pumping up off of the lows um, overnight in those futures markets. So let's take a look at the um, technicals of these charts and see if we can figure out um, what we can do here um, in the day ahead. So first off, if we take a look, the, the trend in the Dow continues to remain up. And we actually have a very bullish uh, chart pattern here in the chart, as you can see, rising up in here in these lows, nice little consolidating move. And although we attempted to break through um, this um, island reversal up here. We have this island reversal. We attempted, we tested that again, but we ended up backing away from that at the end of the day. So here we have um, that resistance that is still proving to in the Dow to show um, some pretty good strength. But at the same time, we're rising, leaving this wedge pattern here in the chart. And really the idea that this could go either direction, we could push on through, we could break down. So we're gonna have to watch that pretty closely. Now, if we look at our moving averages in these charts, we still remain very positive, holding above our, um, whoops, I'm sorry, that's a two day, um, holding above our, um, 200-day moving average with that 50-day moving average continuing to rise. But that island reversal continues, that pattern continues to uh, toss a little challenge to the Dow. However, if we take a look at the SPY, SPY, um, not only breached up through the resistance of that island reversal, but ended up closing the day yesterday above that island reversal, holding it as support. So held on, but once again, we saw some selling coming in at the end of the day, kind of closing that gap and pushing us back down. We ended up closing up only 69 cents here on the SPY after a very, very bullish day, but we remain in this upside trend holding above support. So we've got that contradiction going on in here that may be um, kind of interesting. And as we push, as we push up this morning, we're going to have to consider these other tensions that are growing um, in the market. So watch that carefully. It's going to be critical, I think, in the SPY that we hold that support. It would be a 
um, kind of a blow to the bulls if we actually close back down below that area. So watch that closely today. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now the NASDAQ probably um, left behind the most concerning pattern here overall. We we are still holding this strong bullish trend in the market but as we tried to push back up and break above this big old bearish candle that we left here uh, a few days back as you can see we kind of left behind a dark cloud cover pattern in here so a little bit of confusion now once again we've got futures trying to lift this a little bit higher this morning we're trying to pump and pump and pump in that morning futures trying to lift us back up um, as if we're as if these tensions are trying to prove that these tensions don't bother us between the us and china and maybe that's true as we um, head into a big day of earnings reports but a little bit of confusion going in here a little bit of hmm what do we do now we're gonna have to watch this pretty closely iwm IWM remarkably finished. It, it's been kind of the um, the abused index for a long, long time. But IWM finished the day as one of the strongest patterns overall. Um, we have these nice rising lows. We have this nice hold of support. And as you can see, leaving behind a bit more of a, a bullish pattern here overall in that chart um, during the day yesterday so holding up and it was a strong move in that financial sector helping to hold um, IWM higher yet at the same time we still have this downtrend that we're trying to deal with in the chart um, overall so a little bit of back and forth a little bit of concern here still but IWM holding up quite well let's take a look at the VIX VIX, interesting day yesterday where we push down, we're breaking down this VIX. We continue to try and show that we have no fear in this market. And yet, boy, we struggle, um, struggle with that. So we're holding a bit of a bottom support here in the chart. Let me draw a line across there. As you can see, we found that bottom and um, by the end of the day lifted up a little bit and now with these tensions coming in uh, between the US and China I don't know what that's going to mean for the VIX we'll want to watch this carefully technically of course our 50-day moving average is continuing to fall and we have broken down below our 200-day moving average here in the VIX so that is a bullish sign and we'll have to watch this closely as this uncertainty continues to un, you know roll out here in the U.S. if we can continue to um show that we are not worried uh, about things we might be able to push down here into these uh, low 20 handles here in the vix let's watch that carefully if that were to occur let's take a look at uh, t2122 which is the four week new high new low ratio and if we take a look at this a little bit of concern here because yesterday we pushed up and we continue to remain up here in that bearish reversal zone that area where we seem to be way overstretched now there was even comments in the uh, in the cnbc news feed last night that there is a little bit of a rising concern that earnings could be a sell the news event i don't know if that's the case we're going to have to watch that pretty closely but one of the things we do have to admit is that the NASDAQ is very, very extended. And that possibility, if these companies cannot produce earnings to support these prices, we really could see some selling coming into that index. And if we happen to get the big five tech selling off, it's going to be very, very difficult for the market to hold up because it has been largely those big five tech that have been lifting the indexes. So we're going to have to just really stay on our toes and stay focused on price action and try not to be overcommitted in one direction. Be very focused and be ready for just about anything in this market. Let's take a look at T2101, which is the absolute market breadth. And this has been kind of an interesting chart 
all along. And yesterday, we ended up with that continuing to rally. So that is a good sign. If, if the market is going to rally, we need to see that market breadth also rallying. So it's holding up. We're back up here challenging that 50-day moving average on this index. Um, we'll see if we can continue to maintain this bullishness um, as the day goes on. But that is a positive sign seeing a few more companies trying to hold the market up. Now, I have to tell you that some of this some of this rally in here on the absolute market breath came at the end of the day when we saw the selling. So that can be a little bit of a concern as well. We'll want to keep an eye on that closely if that selling is actually going to start picking up, um, giving us uh, you know more stocks going south than north, um, adding to that market breadth index. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. We do have a couple of things in the economic calendar we want to be um, watchful of, but nothing, nothing really major today that is going to move us around significantly. Um, we have existing home sales. We already saw mortgage applications come in very, very strong this morning. We got existing home sales here at 10 a.m. Um, would expect those to remain quite strong. Um, overall and then the petroleum status report which of course we know can move things around pretty substantially so watch that carefully um, as we get that petroleum number yesterday we saw a nice rally in um, the oil sector so um, hopefully that can hold up today we'll see um, overall on the earnings front we have a pretty good round of earnings today um, more than I can really cover in this video but um, some of the notables that we'll want to pay attention to we have a Microsoft that will be reporting after the bell today and that's going to be you know one of those big tech giants that we're going to want to pay attention to after the bell how are they going to handle um, their earnings report in this um, substantial run that they've made and you can see yesterday they ran into a little bit of a challenge ran into that resistance high leaving it behind a dark cloud cover there's just this cons little bit of um, uncertainty that we're seeing in that price action as we head toward that earnings report. We also have Tesla will be reporting uh, later today and you can see it also left behind that little bit of concern and even um, even the CEO um, coming out saying that he believes the stock is priced too high. So kind of an interesting situation here in that chart. We'll want to watch that carefully and closely today. Um, we also have um, several other companies to be made aware of. We've got some railways, um, Canadian Pacific and CSX that will be reporting. We'll want to pay attention to that. We've got Chipotle, CMG, uh, Chipotle Mexican Grill will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. We'll get earnings from uh, key bank may have already yeah key bank has already reported looks like they're popping just a little bit higher and maybe running into some price resistance here at the open we'll want to stay focused on that kinder morgan kmi will also report today we'll want to stay focused on all of these airlines and you probably have already heard united airlines posting a 1.5 billion dollar loss um, due to impacts from coronavirus. What's interesting is that the stock is really not moving much um, on that news. So kind of an interesting situation. We get these ugly, ugly earnings reports and bad news seems to be good news right now. Good news seems to be fantastic news and we rally really hard on that. Kind of an interesting market. We'll also hear from um, SAVE. Spirit Airlines, we'll hear from them and we'll hear from um, Whirlpool, one of those consumer um, cyclical type um, stocks that we'll hear from today. So watch that. There are certainly other um, reports to make note. There's just more than I can I can go over this morning. 
So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. It may be a little bit confusing here for sure. Sure, we're going to have to really stay on our toes as traders, um, focusing on that price action and remaining very flexible in this uncertain market. But if this is the first time you have seen these videos, if you could please do me a favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post post one of these videos. I hope everyone recognizes the fact that I avoid all of the hype and all of the drama that you might see in other places in the market. I just want to focus on the price action and the details, the things that may be affecting the market for the day to decide how I want to approach the market in the morning so that I'm not getting caught up in the emotional response that um, so many folks might get caught up in, um, you know, the fear of missing out or chasing or rushing in to the market to really look at those um, technicals and decide how I want to uh, approach that market for the day. If you guys find that helpful, please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment. It helps uh, the channel to continue to grow. And thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. You guys are awesome. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And I want to remind everyone every time I show one of these stocks that could be setting up that um, you need to do your own due diligence. This is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security um, in any way, shape or form. Do your own due diligence on these charts and it's just part of the education that I try to provide uh, folks that watch this channel. Let's take a look at Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley, pretty interesting pattern here. We saw a good rally yesterday in the, um, in the financial sector, a nice little rally up. And you can see Morgan Stanley breaking through a rather significant level of resistance and we're holding it in there in this nice positive pattern. If this can kind of slip and slide all its way, way over toward that trend and get that nice response in here, we want to be watching for an upside opportunity. So I've placed an alert on this chart. Now I've got to tell you that I probably will not trade this stock. This is so that I can alert everyone to this. As a matter of fact, what I have decided to do is I'm buying a basket. I already own XLF. Um, and um, I added to that XLF trade yesterday. And XLF looking very good in a pattern here. Uh, we obviously have resistance levels above to deal with, but if we're gonna see a sustained market rally, we're gonna need those financials moving with the market. And so if we can continue to hold in here and continue to show uh, some bullishness, I may um, add additional to this trade if uh, that bullish move continues in the chart. So keep an eye on XLF and the other financial sector stocks that are doing quite well. Keep an eye on Qualcomm. Now Qualcomm is one of those uh, companies that there's been a lot of news about 5G and could be one of those 5G leaders in the market. And you can see um, we're consolidating um, against this resistance and in this support area of this chart. We have 100 above. Now 100 is a natural target in, in stocks. I don't know, we love those big round numbers. So if we can get some bullishness going here, I would suggest that Qualcomm has that opportunity to move on up toward 100. Of course, we will have to deal with this price resistance right here in the chart, but we're holding in a nice trend. We just need a little bit of momentum to get started in here and Qualcomm could perk up and move to the upside. So we'll wanna keep an eye on that chart. Keep an eye on McDonald's. McDonald's is also rising here in the market. And you can see we've broken up through some resistance in the chart. We've got kind of multi layers of resistance in here, but you can see we're trying to hold those as support. 
a nice little tight consolidation going on here in McDonald's and we are slipping over toward that trend that opportunity that we could catch some bullishness in here and push that higher so keep an eye on McDonald's looking pretty good overall yesterday if you guys remember I in the morning report I mentioned um, WDC WDC breaking its downtrend it tried to move up yesterday tried hard broke through ended up pulling back with the rest of the market here but let's keep an eye on that as you can see it is trying to move just a little bit higher here this morning trying to push on up we do want to make sure that we pay attention to these earnings reports lots and lots of earnings reports coming so we'll want to consider that carefully um, as we trade but WDC trying to move higher we'll want to keep an eye on that I had also mentioned Kroger and Kroger took off like a rocket ship yesterday um, really breaking through that resistance that grocery defensive sector stock moving up pretty strongly and um, by the end of the day found some sellers so we're going to want to watch this carefully in here it's entirely possible that we could hold in this area pulling back toward this longer term trend and looking for that next opportunity into that chart keep an eye on kroger may be a pretty decent stock to be watching last but not least um, take a look at marvel marvel has been holding up pretty well yesterday caught a little bit of selling a little bit of bearish engulfing candle there but it's in this tight consolidation now I don't know you can see I've got a trend out here I don't know where this trend is actually going to be we could con continue to consolidate out here and flatten this trend out even more but let's keep an eye on this pattern if this can find some bullishness break through that level may um, send us to um, that new up upside move so we'll want to just keep an eye on it um, no particular rush in that trade and I apologize I did have one more that I wanted to talk about this morning keep an eye on space SPCE SPCE had a nice move yesterday and you can see I've been alerting on this chart breaking through this resistance now I wouldn't be at all surprised to see this have to rest or consolidate a little bit more in here over toward this trend but space is one of those speculation stocks that have been doing quite well I also wouldn't rule out the possibility that we could soon be up here testing these um, recent highs in the chart so keep an eye on that if you want more of a speculation type stock um, remember eight three of those earnings um, anything is possible so with that everyone I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits hey everyone be careful be safe with this coronavirus thing it's not to be messed with keep a steady focus on the price action of the chart and remain flexible because these news reports can shift this market very very quickly y'all take care we'll see you right back here bright and early thursday morning have a good day everyone